coconut oil. It has quite the resume. It's a moisturizer, a conditioner, a creamer, a spread. And last but certainly not least, it smells and tastes delicious. The all natural wonder is something that everyone and their mother is using these days. But doctors are now saying, hey, slow that coconut roll because this oil may not be as healthy as we think. I've never really looked up that much of a coconut oil is healthy, but a lot of my friends tell me that it's healthy, so I just kind of took their word for it. I put coconut oil in my tea and in my drinks because I saw it on Pinterest and it looked like it would be good, and I did it, and it was good. I mean, generally when I'm using coconut oil, it's for like some paleo basic recipe that I found on a health website. Coconut oil has been hailed by the internet as a beauty must have and a weight loss secret. But based on a recent notice by the American Heart Association, coconut oil is not any healthier than other oils and fats. First, let's talk about cholesterol. It can be broken into two types, the good cholesterol called HDL and bad cholesterol called LDL. Studies show that saturated fats raise bad cholesterol and those high LDL levels in the blood are usually attributed to heart disease and strokes. Sadly for us, foods that have a lot of saturated fats are pizza, sausage, and ice cream. But the saddest part is that coconut oil is 82% saturated fat, which is higher than butter, beef fat, and lard. Boo. What? <laughs> I thought coconut oil was healthy. That's why I've been using it this whole time. I don't even eat any of those things, so I'm basically eating something that's 10 times as versus those things? You should know that the American Heart Association released their notice only after combing through hundreds of research papers, some dating all the way back to the 50s. Also, those studies that claim that coconut oil helps you lose weight are a little wonky. What isn't publicized is that you have to consume a very large amount of the oil in order to see an uptake in metabolism, like way more coconut oil than you would normally eat. I'm probably still going to use coconut oil and probably still think that it's good for me and that's, that's enough because I can't waver from my recipes. I'll ruin everything. The next time I see someone grabbing coconut oil at Whole Foods, I'm just going to knock it out of their hands and tell them not to even go there. I still want to put it in my tea. <laughs> if this data did resonate with you, but you're not ready to give up the stuff cold turkey, try slowly replacing it with other oils like canola, soybean, or peanut oil, which researchers say can lower the risk of heart disease. So go ahead, apply it on your skin, your hair, or any nooks and crannies you wish. But if you eat coconut oil, you're coconuts. Slay, coconut slay, baba slay, baba coconut oil, baba work, coconut oil work, coconut oil realness. Give me all the coconut oil.